Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chen Hao. Taiwan External Trade Development Council, TITRA, is Taiwan's foremost nonprofit trade organization with 63 offices worldwide and helps promote Taiwan industries through marketing, exhibitions, and trade missions. With solid industrial bases in the ICT and medical fields, as well as abundant medical facilities, Taiwan has been dedicated to the development of new solutions for hospitals to improve the quality and efficiency of medical resources. Today, we have brought together six very inspiring companies to introduce their latest products this year with you. Our first company is Avantech. Avantech is a global leader in the fields of IoT intelligence systems and embedded platforms. Today, they are going to demonstrate their medical equipment for telehealth. Let's welcome Jun Kai Zhang, Business Development Manager of Avantech. Hi everyone, my name is Jun Kai, and I'm the Business Development Manager for Telehealth Business at Avantech. It's my pleasure to be here, and I would like to introduce you our telehealth solution. Telehealth is a method of providing medical care remotely, usually through video chat. Telehealth makes it possible to connect patients and clinicians from any location. It provides access to a wide range of care, including primary care consultations, psychotherapy, physical therapy, and even emergency services. There are three major drivers for this fast-growing market the COVID-19 pandemic, the shortage of medical professionals, and the 5G technology. Advantech's telehealth solution is focused on clinician-to-clinician -clinician telehealth services. With our MS-72 telehealth card and MS-22 telehealth suitcase combining peripheral medical devices like Exemscope, ultrasound, stethoscope, and ECG, medical professionals can collaborate virtually with specialists in other locations to deliver treatment and care to patients jointly. For example, medical professionals can use telehealth card to do virtual ward rounds in hospital, which can save more time and expand a doctor's capacity to care patients. Virtual ward round is more and more popular around the world. Telehealth card can also help build a virtual clinic in rural areas to increase their accessibility to medical resources. For ER and ICU, telehealth solutions can fill the staffing gap and reduce patient waiting time by virtual cooperation between bedside staff and remote care teams. Telehealth solutions can also protect medical professionals from infection by reducing the frequency of entering the isolation room, but still can give treatment to do isolated patients. Last but not least, medical education like surgical demonstration or medical conferences can be assisted by telehealth solution to maximize the effectiveness. MS-22 transportable suitcase collects all the essential devices into one carry-on size luggage, and it could support more extensive telehealth application, especially for on-site services like emergency care, home care, and military medicine. Our telehealth solution also includes a video conferencing software, which is HIPAA compliant, that secures patient data and patient privacy. And it also supports remote camera control, remote annotation, unlimited screen share, and video streaming from third parties' medical devices like a digital exam scope, ECG, or ultrasound. Let's watch a video to let you have a more understanding of how our telehealth solution deployed in the healthcare environment.
Here I prepared four use cases for you to have a deeper understanding of how telehealth solution works in the real world. The first one is in Taiwan, and it is teleconsultation in rural area. In rural area, most diabetic patients are elder people, and they have to travel a long distance to have regular eye examination at medical center in urban area, which is very time consuming and exhausting. With our solution deployed in rural health centers, patients can easily access specialists to have eye examination and get treatment recommendations by just visiting nearby health centers. The second use case is also in Taiwan, but it's dermatology teleconsultation in mountain area. The concept is quite similar to the first case, which our solution is deployed in the community clinic that allows residents in the mountain area to access dermatologists directly. The third case is in the Middle East, in Qatar. There is a large medical corporation called HMC, which operates nine hospitals in Qatar. According to the report, HMC received around 1,600 stroke patients every year. Unfortunately, the number of doctors is insufficient to support each hospital to give immediate assessment for stroke patients because there are too many patients waiting in the emergency room. So HMC placed our telehealth card into the emergency room in each hospital and used the telehealth card to connect a centralized remote stroke team to do patient assessment and get treatment advices. In this way, HMC increased the efficiency for handling stroke patients without hiring more medical professionals. The last case is in the United States. There is a large system called Banner Health, which runs 28 hospitals across six states. Even a large health system like Banner Health is still facing the physician shortage, especially in the ICU. So they put our telehealth card on the bedside in the ICU. So the bedside nurse can cooperate with remote physician team through our telehealth card to give a joint treatment for patients. In this case, the benefit of telehealth solution is very obvious that increase the efficiency but reduce the cost. Although Advantex telehealth solution already combines hardware and software together, we could also offer standalone hardware platform. So we are really welcome and look forward to a partnership with other system integrators and individual software vendors for telehealth. In this way, different partners could bundle their software with Advantage hardware to build a total solution and create more diverse options for healthcare providers. So if you are interested in our telehealth solution, please feel free to contact me for more information. Thank you. Thank you, Jinkai, for sharing with us the very inspiring telehealth solution from Advantech. The high portability suitcase for home-based patient care and the, the multifunction cart, extending medical care for people in underserved rural areas. This is also especially helpful during this COVID-19 time when people are asked to avoid going to hospitals if possible. That's very impressive. Thank you, Jinkai. Our next presenter, Annie Fang, is the sales representative at EVM Technologies. EVM Technologies is a leading total solution provider of imaging systems. They specialize in picture archiving and communication system, systems for personal health rec record and electronic medical records. Today, they will share with us their ubiquitous diagnostic environment, UDE app and AI platform. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Annie Fan, a sales representative in the International Marketing Department on behalf of EBM Technologies. Today, I'm honored to introduce our company and our innovative product, Ubiquitous Diagnostic Environment, UDE App. First, I would like to deliver a brief introduction about EBM Technologies. We have been experienced with PAX, Picture Archiving and Communication System, in the medical industry since 1988. Our core technology PAX can store, retrieve, and distribute medical images across the institutions. We also offer telemedicine and e-health solutions. Currently, we have 150 employees located in four offices and more than 3,500 hospitals have been installed with our products around the globe. Our software conforms with international DICOM standards. 
EBM products and quality systems are certified by the FDA, CE, GMP, and ISO. Our flagship product is called the Ubiquitous Diagnostic Environment, UDE. It is an iOS-based app that converts an iPad Pro into a standalone server, viewer, and display all-in-one. UD is awarded the Bronze Medal in the Edison Award and is nominated as a finalist in the R&D 100 Award. The idea comes from improving the existing workflow to make servers and displays more portable and affordable than traditional packs requiring several hardware facilities and high costs. With UDE, once patients have finished their medical examinations, the exam images can be sent into iPads for storage. Speaking of which, UDE is suitable for being used in multiple scenarios where few medical modalities are required, such as small and medium-sized clinics and mobile clinics, mobile mammography. UDE can also be used for image transferring or referral services at emergency stations. If referral services are in need, the internal cloud communication feature can complete image data transmission between two iPads prior to patient's arrival, saving the time of rescuing process. UDE stores medical images produced by modalities via DICOM communication into the iPad server and archives 1 TB amount of medical image data. Besides, it provides various image browsing features and can be integrated with AI computing models. Furthermore, UDE can generate instant AI outputs with integrated AI models using the age computing technologies or through an AI call server to assist doctors with efficient and accurate lesion detection. The pictures show the AI result displays of mammogram for classification and mass detection, and chest lesion detection. To sum up, UDE supports several medical modalities, simplifies hardware facilities, reduces costs, stores image database, and provides high-resolution image displays. Importantly, it is certified by the pre-market notification FDA 510K for diagnosis. If you are interested in our company and products, please contact us via our email or visit our website. Thank you for listening and your attention. EBM Technologies develops iOS-based UDE app for medical data and image storage. Retrieving and sharing of data is also integrated with AI Gateway to facilitate image transfer between in-hospital packs with AI server. Thank you, Annie, for your clear and interesting presentation. Our third company is EPED. EPED is a leading company in the field of minimally invasive surgery and develops innovative medical and dental navigation solutions. Today, Emmanuel Les Brown, Global Marketing Manager at EPED, will share with us on their stereotactic surgery navigation system, Retina. Retina is ideal for neurosurgery, oral maxillofacial surgery, and other types of minimally invasive surgical applications. EPID Inc. Navigating the Way to Trustworthy Healthcare. Good afternoon, my name is Emmanuel Felix Lespron, EPID's Global Marketing Manager, and today I'm here to introduce to all of you a real-time navigation, aka Retina. Since 2008, EPID Inc. has invested profusely in the development of navigation systems that allow doctors to convey difficult surgeries with minimally invasive treatments, and people to spend less time in recovery. By upholding the values of safety, precision, efficiency, and minimally invasive, EPED Inc. has strived to produce systems not only for doctors and dentists, 
but also for those starting to become the next generation in which we will rely on healthcare in the future. By developing educational, dental, and medical devices, IPED Inc. has shown steady growth over the past decade, acquiring awards and international certifications such as GMP, ISO for medical devices, and CE. Thanks to this last one, the international market opened its doors for us in Europe, from where our brand has started to expand away from its own home in Taiwan. The core of our technology is optical space location, some sort of Google Maps for surgery. With this, we allow doctors to plan and execute better craniofacial surgeries. How do we make this happen? By developing our very own software and camera. The precision reached by our R&D team has gotten our exactitude very close from zero, which allows the usage of different versions of DICOM during operation. Our full equipment brings classic medical device design. However, we have come up with other solutions for those clients on the go that are not limited to one hospital. Regardless of its presentation, the retina was made to reduce unnecessary tissue injuries and to aid in minimal invasive surgeries. The applications included in our software are neurosurgery, craniofacial, ENT, plastic surgery, oral maxillofacial, and other types of minimally invasive surgery. The workflow is quite simple. Our system works with optical navigation, which emits LED lightning from the camera or tracking unit that reflects into two different receptive markers that are placed next to the patient or mounted to the instrument to be used. The color codification allows the system to know which one is the patient and which one will move around all together with the instrument in use. Some of our key features include nerve indication to avoid delicate areas and permanent damage to nerves, segmentation to highlight abnormalities and surgical targets, and mirroring that allows doctors to copy and paste a healthy sample of the front of the skull onto a damaged area for reconstruction. The development of such key features was only possible thanks to the doctors that have accompanied us in the more of 180 documented surgical procedures we have performed, including some of the following. Mandible tumor removal, occipital tumor removal, CSF suction, fracture on cheekbones, triple fracture on the skull, sinus tumor removals, CFS leakage, functional endoscopic sinus surgery, and many others. Do you want to see the equipment in action? Let's check it out.
For more information about Retina or any other of the products made by IPET in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, please visit our website, www.ipetmed.com. Thank you for your attention and stay safe during these complicated times. Thank you, Emmanuel, for sharing with us on Retina, a system with precise optical space location technology and high compatibility. It's very suitable for minimally invasive surgery navigation. On the upper right-hand corner, you can see the QR code. Please scan and complete the questionnaire to get today's presentations. Wistron Medical is a professional design and manufacturing service partner for diagnostic and medical technology brand companies. Today, Amy Tso, clinical specialist at Wistron Medical, will share with us their all-terrain mobility transformable scooter. Best shape, go. Hello everyone, I am Amy Tso, clinical specialist from Wistron Medical Technology. I'm here with you today to introduce our very own Best Shape Go. Best Shape Go is an innovative scooter that enables mobility over all terrains and environments. Best Shape Go is a transformable electric wheelchair that doubles as a powered walking device. With just the press of a button, Best Shape Go transforms from its driving electric wheelchair mode to its strolling powered walking mode. In its driving mode, Best Shape Go can easily maneuver over different ground conditions. With an easy to control joystick and powerful mechanism wheels, enables users to easily negotiate curbs and climb uphill slopes. Best Shape Go also has a small turning radius, allowing people to smoothly pivot and enter into tight spaces and narrow elevators. One of Best Shape Go's key features is its one touch transformation. With just the press of a button, Best Shape Go transforms from an electric wheelchair into a powered walker. Users can practice walking forward, backward, and turning all with the assistance and safety of Best Shape Go. The device can maintain a constant speed and accelerates and decelerates according to how fast the user is going. In addition, Best Shape Go is equipped with an intelligent safeguard infrared technology that can sense the user's position relative to the device. If the device is pushed too far forward but the user's feet are unable to keep up, Best Shape Go's infrared technology will sense that the user is too far away and immediately halt in its tracks to prevent fall. This infrared ability can also be used for ambulation training. By the press of a button, the infrared walking mode allows users to safely practice walking without holding onto the handle grips. Users can walk forwards, backwards, and maneuver side to side, and Best Shape Go will move along right with the user, adjusting to the user's speed and ensuring safe movement at all times. Please check out our video on how to operate Best Shape Go. For more information, please contact our sales representatives listed below. Thank you, Amy, for your presentation on how Best Shape Go can be used in different environment conditions, assisting its users with mobility. 
Furthermore, it's also very important that it has a smart brake when going down hills, and it's easy to disassemble to fit into the trunk of a car. Our next presenter is Arki Zan, Director of Business Development at Cognito Health. Cognito Health is an innovative medical device manufacturer dedicated to improving patient safety by preventing fall incidents and assisting in pressure injury care. As they are looking for new markets, especially in Japan, today Arki will share with us on their hospital and home care patient monitoring system in Japanese. カクニトヘルスの事業開発部長のアッキーと申します。よろしくお願いします。弊社は知能システム技術を利用して患者安全を守るために革新的医療介護ソリューションを開発製造しています。カクニトヘルスのシステムが2つの患者安全問題を注目
Bill, in your opinion, what makes Sensible Care such a valuable product? Well, from the work that I do and the conversations that I've had with nursing professionals, the two most significant safety issues for patients in hospitals are either bed falls or pressure injuries. So for hospitals to have an effective way to deal with this is a no-brainer. The Sensible Care system is a step in the right direction for hospitals. Its technology is intuitive, user-friendly, and easily integrated into any nursing workflow. With Sensible Care's state-of-the-art monitoring system, nursing staff will have the information and the power within their hands to prevent the most common hospital-acquired injuries. Patients will receive better care, resulting in a safer, more satisfying experience for everyone. Cognito system ga central monitor kara cloud base ni shinka shimashita. クラウドベース ベースシステムは以前より配置、メンテナンスしやすくなり、コストは低減されるだけでなく、ナースコールや電子健康記録など既存のシステムにも容易に統合されます。長期解雇に最も大きな調整の一つは、患者安全です。弊社の知能システム
the Quiron solution is a single platform for integrating multiple ICU devices to collect data and upload to the cloud. The Quiron also has three key features. First, the system supports intelligent data collecting and recording at single platform. Second, Quiron supports different quick view dashboard for different world. For example, ICU, operating room, RT, or HD for caregiver making monitoring their status easily. Third, Quiron already connecting more than 250 different equipment devices. It can cover more than 80% of the ICU equipment markets. Thus, it's a single play and use. The Quiron system is integrated by two major components, Quiron M at each bed and Quiron server at each hospital. The Quiron M is including one medical AIO, Quiron software and data convention box at each single ICU bed. And the Quiron M is responsible for the ICU equipment data collection, collecting patient information and upload vital data to the Quiron server system. Moreover, it provides quick dashboard for doctors, nurses, so they can have quick view for all major information at different wards. The Quiron server is built at each hospital to connect with EMR, his systems. If the hospital has several different buildings, as long as it's under one domain name, you still only need to deploy one set of Quiron server. For this system design, it provides high flexibility for hospital deploy the each ward or ICU one by one. Now, let's talk about how Quiron operates at ICU. When the family member visits the ICU, they will only be allowed to see the basic information of the patient and status. However, when the doctors or nurse comes, they can use their ID cards to pay the security, then they can see the ICU dashboard. They will include all the vital data, ICU equipment parameters, medication order history, antibiotics therapy OP history, drain, urine, drainage tube info, position, drug, duration, exchange alert, and spatial notice. If the doctor or nurse want to see more detail from a single equipment, they can jump to the Quiron M management page. Each ICU equipment will be shown as a single box. Also, from the color status, the user can easily check if the device is well connected. The doctor or nurse can simply check the single box. Then they will find detailed information right here and exactly as the original equipment. Besides the ICU, the Quiron can also be used at hemodialysis ward due to the patient exchange rapidly at the hemodialysis ward. How do we make sure the dialysis tube machine is exactly at the right patient bed to avoid cross infection? The Quiron HD can provide a simple single interface for all the patient information and the vital data automatically. It can significantly avoid never events. Of course, during the COVID-19 pandemic, there are more and more respiratory therapy help at the ICU. The Quiron RT can help the caregiver have a simple dashboard to immediately and quickly monitor COVID-19 patient information. It can also provide a continuous data history as the RT can easily review all the status. Quiron has already been connected to more than 250 different devices, including patient monitor, smart chip monitors, continuous cardio monitors, ventilator, anesthesia machine, infusion devices, blood gas, incubator, warmers, perfusion device, phantom monitor, hemodialysis machine, and so on. The Quiron system can cover almost 80% of the ICU equipment and can be deployed. We are looking forward to worldwide system integrators, distributors, 
to join us to use the Internet of Medical Things technology to help hospitals have a more efficiency and a safety working model. Thank you. Inmed Tech provides real-time based computing architecture, Cryon for intelligent data collecting and recording. Quick monitoring and broad equipment connecting advantage can be highly beneficial to clinical assessment. Also, the vital sign Cryon can be widely used for graphic user interface or even ID card recognition and management platform. Thank you so much, Jason, for your sharing without reservation. Thank you all for joining today's TaiTrust product launch. I hope it has been informative and you learned a lot about how these six Taiwanese companies can help you. If you have any questions, you are welcome to visit the company's website and contact them directly. You are also welcome to contact us in Taitra office and we'll be glad to assist you. Thank you for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you in future Taitra new products launch. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, now you have the opportunity to scan the QR code and fill up the questionnaire to get today's full slides.